Hello everyone and welcome to this new section. In this lecture, we're going to walk you through a completely different, completely new concept. So we call it functions. Okay, Functions is actually very, very important when it comes to any programming language and mainly Python in particular because it enables us to do um, and kind of because it enables us to simply run the code in a very, very efficient way. All right, so let's take a look at what you mean by a function first, and let's see how can we define a function, and let's see how can we actually call that function. So let's take a look at the definition first. So let's zoom in a little bit. So a function is a block of code that can run whenever it's called by the main function, for example. So think of a function as just, just a couple of lines of code that have been separated, all right? Just think of them as maybe two or three lines of code that let's say sum two numbers to each other and they are put on the side and every time you wanted to call that function you just call it by its name so you go ahead execute these couple of lines and then go back to the main actual main uh, code without having to like kind of repeat the exact same code several times all right i know it might be a little bit confusing let's take a quick example and let's see how can we do that Let's assume that I wanted, for example, to, let's say, print, for instance, hello world, let's say, three times, okay? So what I could do is I could do a for loop, okay, or like a while loop, okay, but I'm not going to go there. I'm going to do it in a function format. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to define a function. So I'm going to say def, and let's say I'm going to call it my function, all right? And I'm going to say print, let's say, hello world, hello world. All right, so what happened here? So simply put, what I've done here is I define a function, okay, and I call this function my function, all right? So in, the, in order to define a function, I have to use def space, and then I list my function here, all right? And if this function takes any parameters, I actually list the parameters in, in here, the arguments taken in here in these parentheses, all right? If I leave it empty, that means that function will not gonna take anything, okay? And then th what does this function do? This function simply does print hello world. All right, okay, looks good. So if I run it, you find that something, nothing happened. We didn't print anything, okay, why? Because I haven't called that function yet. What do you mean by calling the function? Now I want it to call the function. So when I say, okay, my underscore function, that's it, that's, what we, that's basically the function call. So if I do shift enter, you'll get hello world, which mean you simply, when you do my function, that means you're calling the function. You are saying, okay, let's leave that lines of the code Go up here to the function and execute the body of the function. And that's why we're getting print hello world. So if I want to do it again, I don't need to do and go ahead and do print hello world again. I can maybe just do this, copy and paste. So you will really just, you know, change, for example, the call of the function, for instance. Okay, all right. Let's take a look. This is obviously is a very simple example. You don't, you know, kind of realize the power of the functions. Let's assume that I wanted to, let's say, define a function, that function takes a number and square that number. All right, so how can we see how can we do that, that, that? All right, so let's see how can... All right, so let's assume that I wanted to define a function and that function takes a number and simply return the square of that number. Let's see how can we do that. So we're gonna say, okay, def fine. So again, I'm defining a function. You can call the function whatever. Here I called it squared. And that function will take an argument x, okay? And the function will return, so I have to write a return. The function will return x square. All right, shift enter, here we go. Now I define the function. Nothing happened, why? Because I didn't call the function yet. So let's see how can we call the function. To call the function, I'm gonna say, okay, please call it with its name. To call the function, I'm gonna call it with exact same name, squared of bracket here. So do this. And instead of x, let's say I'm gonna pass, let's say number three, for instance. So shift enter, shift enter, here we go. Now I basically obtain the square number of three, I obtain nine. So let's say if I do four, shift enter, it becomes 16, and so on and so forth. And that's pretty much how we define a function. What we send to the function is what we call it arguments. These are arguments, these are variables that I send to the function. And these are kind of the returns. That's what we get back out of that function. All right, okay. You can actually put that, for example, let's say um, um, output, for instance. So if you do that, then output will have the actual value came back from the function, the return of the function, which is 16 in this case. All right, okay, sounds great. 
what I want you guys to do is please go ahead, pause the video, and I want you to define a function, and that function simply takes a number, okay, and multiply it by 10. All right, so I want to please go ahead, pause the video, define a function, call it whatever, call it multiply, for example, and maybe test that function, let's say, with three values, let's say 10, 20, and 30. Again, the objective of the function is to take a number and multiply it by 10. Pause the video, and I will see you guys after the challenge. All right, hope you guys were able to figure out the challenge. What I ask you guys to do is to simply define a function, and that function is what we call it, let's say, multiply. And that function takes a value x, and what it does, it simply return x times 10, which is what I ask you guys to do, right? So it's some, it simply takes a number and return the, uh, the value times 10. Shift enter, here we go. And let's test it. So to test it, we'll test it by its name. So we're going to say multiply. And we're going to pass along, let's say, number 3, for instance. Shift enter, here we go. We come back to 30. Let's say return, let's say 9. We'll come back with 90. Let's say 10. And you come back with 100. That means the function works like a charm. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Let's assume that I wanted to, again, define a function, okay, and that function takes specific, you know, like, like parameter, but I need to set kind of a default value within my function. All right, what do you mean by this? Let's take a look. So I can define a function. This function is called, I'm going to call it my function, and this function takes an age, let's say, uh, we'll define it as an age, okay, and what the function does is simply print and it prints simply something like this i am let's say whatever age years old okay and it said dot format if you guys remember and here i'm going to pass along my age in here shift enter here we go looks good and what i'm going to do i'm going to say my function my function and i can pass along maybe like 30 years old shift enter here we go and it's like i am 30 years old all right okay looks great Maybe I'll test it with, let's say, 60. So I'm going to say, okay, I am 60 years old and so on. Okay, so what's new here? I haven't said anything new. So what I wanted to do here is I wanted to show you guys how can we set a default value. So if I say, for example, age equals to, let's say, 20, that means that age is the default value, which means if I call that function, so if I come here and I say my function, and I didn't pass any parameter in here, all right, the function will still work, will still function as, as, as normal, but it will set the default value. So let's run it, and here we go. I'm getting I am 20 years old, which means that if you set within the parameter here, let's say a specific number, and you didn't send anything from the main, then we're going to go ahead and set the default. However, if I call the function and let's say put 30 here, this will override, right? That means you send arguments, you send parameters here when you call the function, then that will overcome the default. If you don't send anything, we're just gonna use the default. That's all what it is, okay? All right, okay. Let's take a look at another example. Let's assume that I wanted to, uh, for instance, do pretty much the default parameters, okay? So I wanted to, let's say, define a function. That function takes a summation, so, or perform the summation. So the function is called summation, and the function takes x equals x and let's say y, okay? And the function returns x plus y. Shift enter, here we go, looks good. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to call that function summation, and that function simply sums the two numbers. So we're going to send, let's say, 3 and 8. Shift enter, and you come up with 11. Okay? So what I want you guys to do is to please go ahead, pause the video, adjust this function somehow so it can return a default value of 100 at all times. Okay, so please go ahead, pause the video, and I will see you guys after the challenge. All right, I hope you guys were able to figure out the challenge. What I ask you guys to do is to simply define, um, set a default parameters or default values here. So what I ask you guys to do is define summation here, and instead of sending parameter three or eight, if you don't send anything, so if you said, let's say summation, and you leave it, leave it empty, okay, I need to set default parameters here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to set, let's say, set, for example, 100, and let's say y equals to 0, which means at all times, the return parameter will going to be a value of 100. Let's run it. Let's run it. Same answer. Run it. And here we go. 
will come back with a default parameter of 100. Why? Because I didn't send any arguments from the function. So the default values will prevail. So 100 plus 0 is 100. And that will be the value, ret value returned back to the main. All right? Okay. Let's take a look at another example. Let's assume that I wanted for example, to define, let's say, greeting function, okay? And that greeting function doesn't take one parameter. It actually takes two parameters. Let's say, happy new year, for example, Mitch, I wish you, let's say, happiness, something like that. Let's say I'm going to do that. I'm going to say, okay, define greetings underscore function. And the function takes, let's say, the name and take, takes, let's say, the greetings, all right? And the function, what it does, just print like happy, new year and let's say pass along the name all right i wish you for example happiness for instance i'm going to say dot format and we're going to pass along here the name and pass along here our greetings shift enter looks good all right so what is the call so now i'm going to call the function i'm going to come here copy this without the colon so now I call the function greeting function. Now I can pass whatever name I want. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to pass along, let's say, Ryan, for example. And the greetings are going to pass along. I wish you, let's say, happiness. Something like this. So, okay, shift enter, shift enter. Here we go. Happy New Year, Ryan. Wish you happiness and so on and so forth. All right. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is to please go ahead, pause the video. And please maybe wish, for example, you know, your loved ones, just pick whatever name and wish them any I wish, like, like let's say health, wealth, whatever. All right, please go ahead, pause the video, and I'll see you guys after the challenge. All right, so what I ask you guys to do is to simply go ahead, call the function, so greetings function, and pass along whatever name. So, for example, Lila, for instance, and I'm going to pass along, let's say, whatever here, wealth. Okay, shift enter, here we go. Happy New Year, Lila, I wish you wealth. It's again, pretty much the same. We just changed the arguments that I sent over here to the, to the function. All right. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. Let's assume that I wanted to define um, a function and that function simply returns, let's say the radius of a circle, okay? And maybe return, let's say the area of a circle as well. Okay, we're gonna have a lot more examples when it comes to the exercise section. Here, this is just a quick kind of, you know, like warming up uh, ex example. So we're going to say, okay, define, and I'm going to call it circle. And here the circle takes simply the radius r, all right? And the function simply returns. What I want it to do, I want it to return actually two parameters. I want it to return the, um, the, the, the diameter first. So the diameter will be two times r. And I want it as well to return the area, which is pi r squared. So I'm going to say, okay, I want it to return 3.14 times r squared. Okay, you can actually do that here in this format. So I'm going to turn 3.14 times the r times times 2. All right. Okay, looks good. Shift enter. Here we go. And let's go ahead here and maybe test it. So I'm going to say circle. I'm going to pass along, let's say, 2. Here we go. Now I came up with simply the, um, the diameter, which is 4. And then I'm going to come up with the area, which is uh, pi r squared of the circle. All right. Okay. And that's pretty much all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's recap what we've done so far. In this, in this section, we're able to learn what, how, what, are, what functions are, what do they do. Now we know how to define a function, how to send arguments to the function get something out of the function. We're able to set as well default parameters. If we don't send anything from the main, what's gonna happen here, we know that now. We know as well how can we, let's say, send two arguments like strings and print them out. And we're able as well to maybe return more than one parameter using the return parentheses. And that should conclude our lecture. Best of luck, and I will see you guys in the next lecture.